all right guys good evening all right in today's video i want to show us how to cut a female short so right here i wrote out i wrote down some things that would be of great importance for us now the measurement i have is um waist of 38 hips of 49 laps of 30 knee of 22 short length of 21 right so these are the measurements we are going to work with in cutting these shorts now you divide your waist by four the answer is nine and a half that's 9.5 divide your hip by four you have 12 one quarter that's 12.25 then for all short cuttings add extra allowance to the measurements to the measurements for ease for ease most importantly this allowance will be added on most importantly the hip area right now in as much as this is a female short you still need to give room for fitting and and comfort it shouldn't be too tight on your client and shouldn't be too free as well right now um this mm, formula i gave here is the regular formula to get the crouch of any female outfit for trousers divide the hips by four minus one for the crouch then the original measurement we have is 12 one quarter then add two to it use it and apply on your hip line measurement right i will explain more when we get to this now for detail's sake, this is something I wrote at the, f at the front. Divide your hips measurement by 4. Divide your waist by 4. The last by 2. The knee by 2, right? Formula for crouch. Now, on the female outfit, we have two types of crouch for them. We have the regular waist line trousers or shorts. And we have the high waist trousers or shorts as well. Now, whichever be the case you are making, you are the one to determine the formula to use. So the regular waistline is any waistline that ends on the real waistline. The high waist is the one that exceeds the real waistline. Now for the formula for the crouch for the real waistline is hips over 4 minus 1. This works for all female, both for trousers and for short as well, right? To get a perfect crouch for a female short or trouser, use hips over 4 minus 1. Bear in mind that your measurements of your hip must be correct before this formula can work for you if your measurements are wrong this will not work for you as well fine after having said that the next one is um um the second high waist that the the second one which is high waist now the formula is hips over four plus two inches to three inches now in most cases you might add 3.5 or 4 it all depends on how high it is if you know that the level of the highness is is more than the actual um, regular high waist you can add extra four inches or thereabout as the case may be right so i think we we are going to do more on this when we, may, we when we are making a high waist short or trouser now but for now let's work we are going to make a regular waistline and then we are going to have a perfect cutting right here so fine having said that my customer's um um hip measurements is um 49 right so divide by four you have um 12 one quarter that's 12.25 before you start you make sure you draw a straight line here this straight line will serve for the side seam of your um shot then you mark a baseline here now this baseline is as well going to serve for the hemming line right that's the base for the hem line then on that hem line the down part you mark two inches now these two serve for the folding right serve for the folding now make sure when you are marking all these stuffs you take your time to mark them don't be in a haste to mark all of this right don't be in a haste to mark all of this so you mark it accurately to this point now the next thing you will see now you will do now is apply your short length now all short lengths must be before the knee for all female right before the knee except on some customers they now want it to go um, be, um, um, below the knee fine and good you do it for them so 21 is the short length i have you mark 21 now in most cases some persons will ask me this 21 measurement is included both for the band of the short yes it's included but don't forget that the band is always one inch and then the reason i don't deduct or minus any inch as regards to the band measurement is because i am still going to slant this short by half an inch Meaning that if I have marked 21 now, if you slam by half, you have 20 and half left. And still know that we are still going to attach band to this shot by half an inch. 
half has left, right? Now the band is one inch. The band is now coming back to replace the whole one inch that is that, that has been removed in total. So that's the reason I don't my knots whatsoever for the band. I apply it directly both for my trousers and for my shirt. It's better it's long, later on you fold it, than after calculating it's not short, whereby you cannot join the deficit, right? So just leave it to be applied directly. So the short length I have is 21, mark 21, like I said, mark 21, mark it always mark twice, so make sure you have a straight line, always mark twice, right? Then you, you extend your line accordingly, right, as shown, extend your line this way. Now, the next thing you will do now is to get your crouch, which was um, the formula we had was 49 over 4, which is his high real hip, 49 over 4, we have 12 for one quarter that's 12.25 now the one quarter is too small for me to consider so what i will do now is i will ignore the 12 um the one quarter i will minus one from this 12 and have 11. you understand so i will use 11 for her crouch since we are making a regular crouch we are not going to um do high waist here so if you have i have 12 now so 12 over 4 um 49 over 4 is 12 one quarter one quarter is too small so i will ignore it it's not up to half or one so I will ignore it, then I will use, I will minus one, uh, and I now have 11 as my crouch, right, 11. So I will mark the 11 as my crouch, this is how it will be, 11 crouch. I will stand the line this way, right. Now because it's a female shirt, you, you still need to know that everything should be fitted as well, but not too tight to give her discomfort. Then on my ankle area that the knee second friend this knee now serves as your ankle for trousers for on, on this part you you come in by one and a half 1.5 or two oh, it all depends on how curvy your client is so i'm using one and a half for my customer 1.5 but the maximum you can use here is two come in by one and a half or two now since the, since it's a shot i will not bug myself by making it to be curvy right i will just join it straight up from here to the hip point the essence of this is to give the shot a, a kind of fitting at the side right so i will join it in this form right i will join it in this form this way then having done that now the customer's ankle is um 22 22 by 2 is um a 11 right 11 you mark 11 11 right 11 now this this 22 measurement is a free measurement it's not tight as sh as it should be it's a free measurement 22 so there's no need to add whatsoever again here usually the need to conference of your customer for all grown-ups should be around 18 17 16 thereabouts so whenever you can encounter regular sizes you can make it 20 but i gave my own to be 22 so that it will be free on her on the knee level so now at the cross line is where you now apply the 12 one quarter at this point you don't need to deduct anything apply 12 one quarter that's 12.25 um, so you mark 12.25 somewhere here 12.25 somewhere here and then you mark extra two inches now these two inches is constant you must use two inches right to mark your um allowance for your hip then connect the um, waist allowance to the ankle this way connecting this connecting this form this way come in here make it to be in an l like shape form this way the reason for this so that by the time you turn up you fold this this line will fall back to this point because if you go straight up when you when you have it to be straight when you fold this line will not fall inside it will be short it will shorten the real measurements here so you just have to be mindful of those edges now this short we have zip and rope but there will be no belt right it will have zip and rope but there will be no belt so it means it simply means that we are going to make use of my customer's tight waist measurements now we are we are still going to make the regular sewings but i will show you how to achieve that putting zip without having to have the belt but to have rope inside the band so we we are going to learn how to do that so then how then do you do it now you you Take up the um, waist line, the, the, sorry, the hip line, straight up to the waist. That's whatever measurement you have on the hip line here. Take it straight to the waist. So if you know you cannot connect the, the line to be straight, all you need to do is to make sure you pick out the measurements here. 
measure it out 12.3 apply it on your west line 12.3 as i see if you are making a rope trouser right 12.3 here then connect it straight up from the hip line to the west line in this form so that you achieve a straight line then from your crash line come up by two now this one is called the hip point right hip point the hip is um, situated two inches above the crouch then from the intercepts you mark 0 0.5 in a diagonal form here this way and then you connect with a curve you can make use of a pattern master in the connection right that's the sense of these tools connect with a curve in this form right now if you are making a rope tra a rope short or a rope trouser this is the pattern you're going to use to cut you will not need to apply the waist anymore but because i said we are going to make it um, um a, a, a zip trouser a zip short with a rope so we are going to apply the waist now in applying the waist you know regularly we start from here to apply our waist backwards but now we start from here and come front this way so our waist by four is 9.5 you start from this point mark 9.5 which is um nine and a half you mark it here right nine and a half now in even though we are making a fitted shot oh sorry a, a free shot the shot should not be too free or too loose now we should have marked one inch here on our west line but now i'm trying to make the front to be so relaxed that it won't have air on the front so i won't add the one inch extra i add on the regular west line of trousers or whatever you're making right so i won't add this one inch here i will leave it like this and then this one inch i'll add now will be imputed at the back panel of the trouser so that the front panel will be so small than the back sometimes it's, it, it can be called um, waist allocation or hip allocation right so you can remove you can ignore the one inch you add at the waist line save it and add it to the back so that the front will not have excess air or excess fabric at the front so at this point now you are going to connect it in this form connect in this form making sure that your front piece is curvy this way now this is how curvy it is right so now the essence is just to give it a lapping effect at the side now if you still decide to put one in chair that's still no problem it will still work but then you will know you will notice that you have more more um, um, um fabric at the front panel of the trouser and on the belly area or on the waist area so I, I just want the front panel to be relaxed while the back contains the allowances needed at the waist line right so it, it this as well can be called um waist allocation meaning divide your measurement by by four by two the other answer divide by sorry by four minus one for the front panel and add one to the back panel right so that is how it's been done so now you now slant your trust your, your, your shorts by half an inch always come down by half come down by half now this half an inch you are slanting is is a constant measurement you slant in this form now you now decide if you, if you are going to put pockets or no pockets however you want to do it is still very much okay right so usually in such cases you might want to put pocket or not pocket that's your decision but this trouser this short will not have pocket i will make it to be a bit um, kind of a corporate wear so that she can wear it with something nice on top while she enjoys the fabric so now i'm going to cut this and then show you as well how the bag was cut and don't forget to subscribe to the channel share the channel invite your friends to come and see one of the easiest ways of explanation in cutting so you cut from here you cut from here this way you also cut from here now i'm um, stay glued so that you will watch how the back is being cut as well so i'm cutting from there all right so now when you are having something similar to this one you know that you are already making headlines or making way so you cut from here so now we are done with the front panel right so let's um, take a look on how to cut the back so this is the front panel 
of my shorts right this is how it looks like right so now don't forget that this was um 12 point um um 12 one quarter then i did not add the is allowance of extra two right but it can still be added at the back panel if you so want so but then if you still want to add it here there's still no problem you can still add it here now it will still make more sense to you so but i'm just trying to explain to you the tricks you might use to achieve a perfect result so now having done this or having done this you now place to cut the back so don't forget that um the the back panel will be bigger than the front panel now at this point we want to cut the back part of the shorts now you decide if you are going to add the ease allowance at the back you know um, usually the back panel is always two inches additions so at this back panel now you might decide to add extra one and a half that 3.5 for the hip protrusion at the back so let me just add three here at the crotch area add three right for the hip protrusion you add three there then extend your line in this form then you add the rest of them to two inches here two two inches all through two inches all through then you connect accordingly connect as shown this way connect as shown this is how you're gonna connect it and then because of it's a female short usually um if it was a rope trouser you wouldn't have slanted so since you slanted you must raise so you raise here by one and a half or two it all depends on your cost on your customer's stature if she is hippie you have to consider her back side of the trouser or shorts so that it will be closed properly so you can add extra to here to raise then connect the two inches to the tip here this way connect this way right now this is where you are going to do some extra calculations or manipulations now don't forget that we we, we um, curved the side seam this way now the essence of this is to make sure that the front panel is fitted the back panel will be bigger than the front so that one inch we did not add on the front you add it now to the to the back from here that one inch you add it now to this point at the back here one inch now meaning that this part will be one inch wider than the front so you also connect it in this form right connect in this form so meaning that this slanting now we now start from here this will now start from here right so now when you must have connected it to this point then the next thing you will do now at the back panel you mark 1.5 so you might just add two inches here two inches here and then at the down part you mark you can mark three as well for the hip protrusion so that the hip will be taken care of properly then after having done that you connect as shown you know in short you have to add ease so that the person will not feel uncomfortable while putting on the shirt so you mark this way right so i have made some videos or previous videos on how to make a shot you can check it out on youtube and don't forget to trace these videos to know when the sewing sewing section is being uploaded so that you also understand how it's been sewn but then if you already know how to couple a shot if you use this pattern to cut the sewing remains the same but then the only thing new here is that i'm going to no um big belt but we are going to have a rope and as well have a zip and on this shot so let me cut as well and then you also see how to cut the other components which are the zip fly and the pocket facings and the band now there will be no bit loop on this shot right so you cut from the lines you have marked this is how you're going to cut they also always make sure that whenever you are um cutting you maintain the same line you have marked and then cut the sides as shown as well so now this is how the front and back piece will look like right look at it this is how it looks like you are seeing the curvature of everything 
So because of the down was folded, so I will slit here. I will slit here in this form. Right? So this is the shot of my customer. So I'm done cutting the front and back. So now let's cut the components, the flaps and the facings and other necessary areas. Then we bring up this now. So like I said, always try to follow up to know when this will be sewn so that you will also watch the video on the page on the channel then I will use this to form my um, pocket facing so I will use this now to form my pocket facing now the pocket facing measurement is um, okay sorry since there's no pocket so I will use it to do my zip fly or flap so that's no pocket so I will do my zip flap here so the measurements I will use now will be 2.5 to 3 inches width by length of um, 9 to 10 or maximum of 11 right so this is the zip flap I will use for my customer so let me check the measurements so I have here to be 3 inches exact and then length of 11.3 so 11 is okay for me so this is how my flap will be so I will differentiate the front and the back and then I'll place them together then on the band cutting on the band cutting now the band cutting you are going to divide your customer's waistline measurement by two then because it's of fold then add extra five to seven so her waist is 38 38 divided by two is 19 is 19 so um 19 you have 19 here and then extra five to seven is going to give her 26 so you can just mark at 27 then the width of the band will be 4.5 please it must be 4.5 the least you can use is 4 must be 4.5 this way 4.5 this way and then you connect the line accordingly this way connect the line accordingly in this way and then you cut out the band you make sure where you have marked is where you are cutting so you cut the band so in the sewing section i uh, also show us how this band was gummed and okay let me just say it now you you are going to cut out co uh, material gum or paper stay whatever you call it and then the measurement of the color stay will be more highest of 1.5 or 2 you gum in this way half inch away half inch away from here gum it all through then fold the half inch inwards this way then fold the band of one inch or 1.1 depending and then you have excesses here and then you fold this other one this way so this is how the band will be folded so why before we sew i will also show us how this band was gummed and folded for us to be fully aware so now um for those of us that we want to follow us to um, make this um, short I made a video yesterday on how to the tools we need the eyelets and stuff so the eyelets will be of great use at in this short making so watch the video on how to get the tools and then probably get your tool and then use eyelets to open your shorts to make it look fanciful right so thank you guys then watch, wait for the next video on um, coupling or sewing processes